Hang on to your seat, baby. Cause this one's a screamer. Cause she's gonna come back, guns blazing. But I'm gonna come back, guns blazing. <laughs> what is going on, entertainers? So today I'm coming to you with another video. We talking a little bit of baddies and some other stuff too. Before I get started, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what y'all think about this video. Now, I love y'all. Know y'all probably expecting me to joke about this, but I feel bad for Natalie. I'm sorry. Somebody hit a big lick on Natalie. If y'all don't know, I recently just traveled uh, to LA. So I feel her completely because when I had to put two of my suitcases and not go with it upon the damn flight, it triggered so much anxiety in me because I'm like, I got some expensive clothes in there. And if this gets lost or stolen, I'm going to literally start bawling and crying. Like, oh my God. I'm sorry. I am materialistic. Oh, well. All effing well. Some people that's just, we ain't grow up on a lot. So when we got a chance to get a lot, we cherished a lot. That's what it is. So it's like, not too much. I feel Natalie on like a deep level. And y'all know I'm the first one to clown that now. But it's like, return this lady stuff. She said and posted on Instagram, hey baddies, I'm looking for these items. I've been targeted at the airport with my luggage. By the way, Natalie, you're going to have to stop traveling just by regular flights. You know who I blame for this? Lemmy Pepper. Lemmy Pepper, Natalie works too hard year in and year out, month in and month out, season in, season out. Batty shot a clock up the nose, I mean up the mouth, down. For you to not gear up the baddies, uh PJ when she got some place to go. She's international. I mean, like, Seriously, for real, like, come on. She said, I was traveling doing photo shoot, all these items and these pictures were inside the luggage. I have an award for $150,000 cash. If anyone has, has seen or knows anyone who stole my bags, I got a tip that my bags were taken because the tax said Nally none on them. Stolen and mysteriously came up missing. Also, the CEO baddies chain. I checked my bags at the gate in Sacramento. So now someone thinks they're going to get these one or one bags or my baddies chain is delusional. If anyone knows anything about any of these handbags or my chain, contact myself via DM or Jacob Payne right now. You can also go to my story and submit anything you know to the Placer County Sheriff's. And no, that is not the sheriff's from Batty South, just so we can have some clarification. Any information, and you know I'm about to do a new season of Baddies, and Baddies Gone Wild. Let me know you know something right now. Information has my stuff, and consider that done. $150,000 cash right now. Tell me what you know. It will be confidential. Now, Natalie, I don't believe the confidential part, but you know. I feel bad because it's like people work so hard for their stuff. Like, y'all some bums. I can't stand a bum ass nigga. Whoever did that, like, really, really, I would have put a note in there and be like, it, it, you know, put a note in her bag or something, be like, follow me on Instagram. But it's like, stealing her ish is like, it's, it's doing a little bit too much. And the chain getting stolen, you're going to get caught up quick, bitch, because. That's easily traceable. Who the hell has a chain that says CEO of baddies? Of course, that's going to belong to Natalie. Okay? I'm telling y'all, blame Lemmy Pepper for this. She shouldn't be flat and regular. The baddies PJ, you feel me, should be loaded and ready when she's ready, especially if she's traveling for work. Okay? I'm telling y'all, the amount of anxiety I felt, when I was like, oh my God, please don't take none of my Balenciaga shoes. <laughs> I was like praying. I'm like, please. Because I packed all my specific shoes up in there. I was like, Jesus, Lord, don't take it, don't take it, don't take it. I go, oh my God. It ain't taking a thing out. So it's like, I can't laugh at her. I really can't. Because that's some, that's some bum shit. That's bummy behavior. It really is. But Nally, you ain't here for me. I saw Scotty with a new Fendi purse. 
somewhere in LA, you know, I'll just drop a little tip down there for you. I saw her with a little Fendi purse and, you know, with a brown outfit to match. Okay. My whole thing is, uh, I really feel like when it comes to traveling, the fact that baggage claim isn't more securitized it's like ridiculous. You really could go there with your most expensive stuff and end up walk and end up traveling and getting there and not getting none of your stuff that was packed in there when you got there. It's like it's really sad and it's really scary to be honest because it makes you low-key not want to travel because with travel with certain stuff at least, because it's like you're not trying to lose all that hard work you put into buying all of your stuff. And one thing about Natalie, she's materialistic like me. So it's like, I feel you. <sighs> Return that lady stuff, y'all. God damn, y'all so bubs. But Natalie, I'm going to tell you who you got to hit up. I know you're going to have to come. Li listen close, Natalie. I know somebody going to send this to you. Somebody clip this and send it to Natalie. Let me tell you how you're going to get your stuff. I'm dead ass serious. You're going to have to put the, your tail between your legs. You hit up that bitch smiley. Okay, and you're gonna get your stuff in 2.5 seconds. I can guarantee you that Smiley gonna get the plug on who got your shit, or she gonna end up buying your shit from the people who sell your shit, probably on Etsy or Mother uh, eBay and stuff. So you're gonna end up getting your stuff. I can guarantee you that. You just gotta hit up that bitch Smiley. I know y'all haven't, you know, seen eye to eye or been on the best of terms, but best believe if the coin is up for grabs. She gonna make some things happen. It might have been the it might have been the bitch too that 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 done sent a hit out on you to, to for you to get a lick the way that you got hit like that. I'm just saying. Let me know what y'all think down below. And have you guys ever lost expensive things while traveling? Because especially during this holiday season, you us as American people, we traveling back and forth, you could easily lose a whole lot of expensive type of stuff. So let me know down below some horror stories you guys have had during baggage claim when, let's say, y'all travel in another state and then y'all got there, y'all is half the stuff of y'all bags is a missing. Please let me know down below. So recently, I didn't see everything that's been going on, y'all. With Automac, uh, Big Shroom, y'all know when when uh, Melanie get mad, she turned into a crump dancer. She. She, you know, she turned to a badass crump dancer. I done seen her get on the internet just recently and turned into a crump dancer. Now, this all started online some really a little bit ago because people were wondering how was Melanie's appearance. So if y'all don't know, Melanie, you guys, it's her. Okay? Melanie is this girl right here, this blonde girl, and this girl with the purple wig in the picture. So she is going to come on a later episode of Baddies. Uh, and just fight Ivory. How they're going to introduce her, I have no clue because it's not going to make sense to the audience that doesn't watch that as TV for her to just pop up and be like, hey, I'm here to fight Ivory. <laughs> like, okay, right? So people were asking fans, were like, hey, how was her appearance, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I automatically said, hey, you know, I don't know why she came. She basically claimed that her ass, but she lost the fight and left. Like, her being there was pointless. Ivory won the fight, basically, right? Which she could have literally said, because this is what's wrong with the show now. These girls get online, and they tell us everything. Okay? So we know all the business before it even airs. They do the work for us. Thanks, baddies. <laughs> so because of that, Melanie had already got pissed. Now, recently, Automat also commented and said, we never got to meet her at all. Honestly, she came in already fighting immediately and was exited out immediately after nobody ganged up on her at all. Not that I know of. I never even say nothing bad besides she lost the fight. So I don't know why she acting like MFers don't like her. Okay. That's why I don't be feeling bad when the girlies be on automatic back because it's like nobody really pushed you to comment. These fans will try to basically bait you. And I feel like she bites the bait every time. And then when she got to defend the bitten of the bait, she gets all, oh, my God, which the girls say, cop and please. You automatically do cop more please than a young thug trial. I mean, God damn. You cop and please left and right. You ain't got shit on Ghana. Like, oh, my God. 
left and right and center. So Melanie was all live, was reacting to that comment uh, in this video. She, you know what I'm saying? Like, like she was telling me to do my shit. You know what you feel me? But like, and besides, she lost the fight. So I don't even know why she acting like motherfuckers don't like her. Girl, shut the fuck up. Girl, shut the fuck up talking to me. Shut the fuck up. Cause I get around you, you be you 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 the same bitch that'll be acting like you don't know what the fuck going on, and 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 um you don't know uh uh uh, uh. girl shut the fuck up. Let's give me Nicki Minaj. I'm a pull up Who the fuck is this fool? Okay, now it is stop there, y'all. I am going to be reacting to a part of this live of her sort of going off on this tangent on automatic. By the way, Melanie looks amazing. Now that's the best. Okay? All the baddies. Not you promised. You feel me? Like, she's a baddie. That's a big, big baddie, in my opinion. Okay? The looks are there. The aesthetic is there. In my opinion, Mel deserved to get on a little bit more than Big Ivory. Just by me. Just from the aesthetic of it all. The irony of her saying she hopes uh, Dolly whoops her ass as an emoji pops up, Loki giving a little bit of Dolly realness. The shade. Not the hot sauce bottle. Hey, man, girl, like, I don't give a fuck. Kid, scratch, bite. Bitch, you, know, you, you don't put no fear in me, ho. That's what I need y'all to understand. What you talking about, bitch? <laughs> bitch, I came over there, bitch, and I know that you hoes was gonna jump or not. Still came in. I'm gonna stop there. And before I continue, Anna, you gonna have to come to this room with a helmet. You're going to need more than Tzatziki. You're going to need a helmet. Because Tzatziki only has two hands. You get what I'm saying? You're going to need a helmet. Not that I'm saying Tzatziki can't beat Melanie. But I'm saying, like, she has... Anna has other ops she has to worry about besides a male. You feel me? And it's like, Mel, I told y'all she fight with her titties. So it's like, you're going to have a whole lot to deal with if y'all end up squabbling at this reunion. that in my car i'm telling you you really can't though my whole thing is um a lot of people felt like we're her saying that she was insinuating that um she was trying to say you know call to seeky for her i wouldn't say she would say specifically to seeky of course that would be one of the people because she said yo peep up now she didn't say your home girl 
Um, I just feel like a lot of people have defended on Mac over the season. So she's basically saying those same people get them for her. Okay. This reunion, I feel like it's really going to be a bloodbath. So I just hope Lemmy Pepper is equipped with the security and the protection of, to really, you know, make sure there's some correction in there. Because one thing about Mel, she literally will do shrooms before walking up in there. So it's like, Anna, just pray and bring a helmet. Call Miss Wet Wet for her helmet that she wanted to get right. Because that actually was a success. Wet Wet left out of there untouched. Not gonna lie. This time though, just get a get a football helmet. That would be even better. Now, Melanie wasn't the only girl on Automax head. Lex joined the party too. So my opinion or anything I did or said or whatever, I'm gonna get out there. Win, lose, or draw, I'm gonna get out there. With Anna, y'all, this girl literally will say something and cop please. Oh, I didn't, I didn't do, I didn't mean to, I didn't say that. I just said this. I just, bitch, stand on your word. That's what I'm saying. Like that's, that's the difference. Anna, you're too, your mouth is too big for your size. If you ain't gonna get behind and step behind you, whatever the fuck you say, don't say it at all. Real shit. Why did you have a mug shots? Because I didn't realize him. And it was times where I could have really went off on Anna, but I didn't because she was too little. That's what I'm saying. Like I was too level headed. And that's one thing I wish I could go back and not be was level headed. Like I really spared a lot, of, a lot of people because I really spared a lot of people just because like I'm like nah, I'm not gonna do that. But it's baddies. Anna, Anna talks too much. Now, Automatic did reply back to this about the whole copy police situation. And then we back to Thanksgiving. And then, AKA, you are derriding Natalie. Basically, that whole live that Natalie did, calling out Automatic, but without saying uh, without saying Anna's name. I really don't care, but um, this girl talking about cop and please, um, there's no uh, plea to cop when me and your friend was cool all season. Also, another thing, um, let me tell you what makes the girls really mad about Lex. <laughs> you know why? Because she's a bad bitch. Like, she's really a baddie. So it's like, they can't say nothing about her besides her being, like, tall and, like, a big, tall bitch. Besides that, they can't be like, oh, you ugly at? Because it's like, it's not true. Or they can't be like, oh, you can't fight? Because it's like, she can fight. So it's like, they don't be knowing what to say. <laughs> That's why I find it. That's why I think Lex was like the perfect casting. She really was because the girlies can't really say a lot about her. They really can't. Like with Diamond, they could be like, oh, Diamond, she's not the best fighter. Or, you know, she just troll on the internet. Or they'd be like, oh, she a hoe. Da, 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 right? But with her, they can't really say too much. And they can't even be like, oh, you ain't got no life outside of Betty's. The girl got a whole degree. So it's like, damn, bitch. Y'all like, y'all stuck. You literally said you like us the same way you were on Scotty Dick and playing with her dog, and then now you and Natalie hang out and it's oh I don't like Scotty. You're mad because I stated the truth. You are dick riding Natalie, and it is what it is. And Natalie loves when people dick ride her. Boom, point blank, period. And she's only doing that to piss off Scotty. Don't think like you're somebody she actually likes. And everybody that wanted to fight me, like actually for real, fight. I fought. I fought everybody that actually wanted to for real fight me this season. Um, I didn't have a problem with Dolly. For Not gonna lie, Automat. Automat don't even sound like she believe what she's saying. <laughs> for real, we never had a real problem. She didn't even have a problem with me. We actually liked each other. So, girl, that the whole cop and police shit, just shut the fuck up. Every hoe that ever wanted to fight me for real, I fought. I did. So please, go to her. Cause I really don't care. But um, this girl talking about cop and please. My whole thing with Anna, I just feel like she shouldn't have did this season. I feel like she was forced to do this season. From what it seemed like, especially when the cast was announced, it seems like she really didn't get the, the best heads up that she was casted 100% until we all found out. And she was kind of forced to sort of go along with doing with the, go along with doing the season. So I think that's why she was over it. Do I think she was dead ass like scared? Not really. Do I think she caught please? Hell yes. Automat don't like to stand on what she says. That's the issue. I feel like she would get out there and fight with anybody who really wants it if she feels like it's necessary. But it'd be the, the words that get her caught up. She'll say something like, I didn't mean it like that. It's like, okay, you meant it like that. Just like the Chris Ross situation. Like, you know you was trying to call that girl stupid. But then you made it seem like the blogs was just, we just made that up out of thin air. Like, we had it to your page or something like that. Like, you said that. And it's okay. Chris not the brightest. You feel me? And there's nothing wrong with that. That's all. Okay? 
Now, um, also, what was surprising to me, Big Lex talked about Mel and basically feels as if she's Team Zeus. Because, you know, not as TV and Zeus, it's like the Crips and the Bloods. Uh, the Bloods is uh, Zeus. The Crips is not as TV, okay? That's why Ca Cash Mama be like, on a gang of Crips. You know what I'm saying? On a great on a gang of Crips case. That's why she be saying that. Now that's TV the Crips. Zeus the Blaze. Ask her how she feel about Mel. I mean, like how I feel like I don't have no opinion on Mel for real. I don't have no opinion on Mel. Um, you feel me? She was cool. And although we beefing with the same girl, I'm not going to lie. She said I was looking at her like do her shit. I did make eye contact with her. And me personally, I don't have no problem. But as like a baddies unit, I'm going to stand with the baddies over somebody that's like new coming in. So like at that moment, if I was to pick a side, I'm going to be with the baddies. Even if that means I'm siding with somebody that I don't like. We're still like within our group, within our baddies unit unit. I'm a, like, even if that means I have to stand with somebody I don't like because we're a unit, I'm gonna do that over some. That don't make no goddamn sense to me because, bitch, she's now Mel is considered like a baddie, whether she's a guest star or what. She came onto the platform, so now she's a part of the network, a small percentage of it, but she still uh, now became a part of it. And I really feel like she will have something to do with next season. That's just my opinion. Okay. Now off to this auntie's podcast. Now, Carlissa has talked in uh, recently about how, and Tia herself, recently she did an interview with Tasha K and says that she told Zeus Networking now, she don't want to come back if Tokyo Tony's a part of it. Okay. Now I guess Tokyo Tony got a win of this and y'all know how Tokyo Tony do with her rants. When she's sitting either in a car or in a local motel room, she kind of went off and threw some shade and basically told the fans on social media on a live to go and get Tia Kemp. Somebody call that skinny ass Tia Kemp over here. I'm going to wait before I go eat. Somebody tell Tia Kemp fake nothing, dirty sucking ass, nobody. Come in. Cause when I see you, I'ma smack the f oh. out you, bitch. Make sure somebody pass that, man. This this the fakest I've ever dealt with. Wow. I'm about child. She about two seconds away from writing the letter. Somebody call that skinny ass. Okay, now y'all know how she is with the readings and the tongue lashing. I've been trying to give you the benefit of the doubt all fucking year. Turn that shit down a little bit, please. Let me tell your wall receipt. I ain't your motherfucking daughter, Tokyo Tony. You ain't gonna put your hands on no mother. You sat on the couch with me for over a month. You knew better, bitch. What's your mental problem today? Just on the phone with me the other night, need motion. You and Kalissa. I told Kalissa I don't want to. You ain't gonna put you. I've been trying to give you the benefit of the doubt for the longest. You silly. That's my Newport Facebook five dollar freaking going live and begging. This bitch. Girl, don't play with me. I'm, I'm up on your. What you want? I've been what you want. I've been trying to give you the benefit of the doubt for the longest. You silly. That's my Newport Facebook five dollar freaking going. Here's the thing with the whole Aussies podcast. It could have been such a big success, and they dropped the ball so hard. Like, they dropped it so hard, and I just feel like it didn't have a whole lot to do with the casting, but with just the format in general. And a part, a small part of the issue was Tokyo's extraness. Although it made the show more interesting, and it made it seem more like, uh, you know, them late-night comedy specials that's on DVDs that they curse in and call it people faggots and niggas with their hard ERs, that type of vibe those black comedians that were extremely, extremely explicit. That's the type of vibe Tokyo gives. 
But at certain points, the stuff she would say in the interviews, it would just be unnecessary. And it just wouldn't make any sense. And it would be random and it would cut off the guests. Like if they, you ask them a question and they try to answer it and then you'd be like, but you'll be eating pussy though. Like let them finish before you cut you before you rebuttal. Or you eat my pussy. I got my legs open. God. Like you gotta like chill. Like there's time for that, but it's like you gotta lean into it. You can't just back to back to back to back to back. Like, oh my God. That's the problem with Tokyo. She it's like she doesn't know how to like stagger the extraness and that's where the ball got dropped okay i feel like a good replacement for tokyo would be mama d or mama jones those to me would be some two good potentials to be on there because mama d is extremely 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 funny Two other people that could be added or make it like a mix in there too. Sister Patterson, which is New York mama. Another one would end up being, uh, besides Sister Pat uh, Patterson, uh, I was going to say Mama Joyce, but Mama Joyce already got that show that she put to do uh, with Candy. So that wouldn't have ended up too well. But a one mama. That's another funny one. Okay? I'm just saying. Let me know what y'all think down below, though, about that whole situation. Now, uh, if y'all don't know, of course, uh, Krishan's friend, uh, <laughs> Jay, every time I see her, I just think, Clocks kiss the out and the sun turns into gay. I wanna know I hear it. Now when the night comes, but only night star. Oh, what's the matter? I wanna feel the heat with somebody. Yeah. I just want her to do this. You feel me? Like that? <laughs> I just want to, I just want her to do that one good time. Anyway. Uh, she recently was on live and spilled a little bit of information. I'm kind of a little bit happy she said this because I was one of the few that was dying on that hill that I said that I thought that the rumor was true. And she sort of confirmed it. And this bitch over there. So it's like, what did you say? Shout out to Henny with T. Some of y'all don't like sis, but you know, she cool. me. You left your earring or your ring on purpose so Cardi could see it? Oh yeah, that's when I went all out. <laughs> that's when I was like, we committing adultery now? Oh girl, that's not God. That's how I knew how to cut people off. <sighs> and I didn't even go that day because she kept saying, I'm gonna go da da da, and I was like, no, why, why? I love Cardi. Why would you do that? No. And then what the fuck happened, bitch? We all looking for Gershon and this bitch over there, and she left us. And I was like, damn, you left us for some dick that's not even yours, and that's Mary. That's crazy. But yeah, I don't hang out with home wreckers. I don't hang out with people that are soul snatchers. I do not hang around with anything that does not go under my morals anymore. And if you're my friend, you got to be under my morals because that's what I learned for real. Like you can't, like it's got to stop there. Like I know sometimes you guys might think, oh, my friend is just, they're going to change. They're going to change. They're going to change. No, choose friends that fall under your morals that's all i'm saying so it's like what did you say okay here's the thing first of all jay selling out Krishan like this all over social media after their friendship fallout that's so crazy this all don't trust people like oh my god you just telling all of it is this but she's not lying i don't think she's making this up i don't think this is a farce she's trying to get uh make Krishan look bad i just feel like she's venting wrongfully to be honest because it's like you still was friends with her you know still after this eventually y'all 
y'all stop being friends don't get me wrong but it's like you still was sort of condoning even bad behavior before that situation but that's on another subject she is right though because it's like if you actually did do that allegedly that's sick belkalee's had a hard enough year like why would you do that and offset why would you do that oh now i know you ain't doing that I can't believe you did this. That's why I don't tell you nothing. <laughs> because why you do that? Why I do what? Like why you do that? Okay. I just feel like uh, when it comes to people that's in Hollywood, it's a lot of things that are done undercover behind the scenes that unless people that are very close to them fall out with them and tell all the business, they will get away with that murder. They will get away with what they have done. So all of this stuff does not shock me whatsoever. It actually makes a whole lot of sense, especially around the timeline that everything was going on and the whole drama breakdown happened. The only thing I don't do agree with what Jay said is, she said, uh, of course, choose friends uh, who, I guess, lie, lie within your path and stuff too. No, choose friends. And choose friends who she said who choose friends who like kind of choose you kind of and I'm in my mind I'm like why would first of all Krishan used to always choose blue face over anybody right what makes you think she's not gonna choose the next nigga over you hello like I'm not saying it's right but I'm just saying like you really gotta believe people when they show you it's good though that she did wake up and I guess smell the flowers okay let me know what y'all think down below about um this video it's a long one okay uh leave your comments down below and we're our babies Ain't no personal thing.